Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're working on the original Jeep motor and we're going to take the camshaft uh, gear off of the camshaft so that we can get the rest of the assembly taken apart. So I know that Rich was wanting to work on some of this motor but um, I'm here today, there's nothing else going on and i um, got to get it done. So I'm going to start by taking off the cam gear. We were working on this the other day and it's a real pain to get off. It's probably the original one. We don't think the motor's been taken apart. So we were trying to use the wheel puller that, or the gear puller that I had, and the, the teeth on it just really aren't that long to get into the holes in the gear and go behind it. So they go down into these holes right here, and then there's a center screw you can push against to slide it off the camshaft. So we made this tool the other day, and what we did is we created these little teeth right here out of some rebar that should go in there and go to the outside of the gear because the outer piece of the gear is thicker than the center piece as far as what is back there to grab. The center piece is the, the shaft through the center of it. Um, there's really nothing for the fingers to grab, so you turn the fingers the other way around. And in theory, it should grab it. But because it is a fiber gear, it's not metal, it's actually fiber, it's... Kind of starting to get uh, tapered a little bit, a little bit soft because we've been trying to pull on on and it's been really stuck on there. So, like I said, we made this the other day. These two gears were going to, or pieces are going to go into the gear, spread out, and then these outer ones we're going to screw down on these outer pieces over here and pull it off of there. And this never really worked. We could probably keep working with it, you know, move these out a little bit so they don't spread like that. They go more vertical to give it a better grip. Um, but you know, time is money. We, we tried fabricating something twice and it didn't work. And normally I like to fabricate the things and just keep moving forward. But I actually had to run to the tool shop. So today when I was out running around, I went to Harbor Freight and got a gear puller set. So it comes with three pieces. It comes with a small set, the medium set, which I've installed here. And then the big one here for the two, uh, pronged two teeth, whatever you want to call this. They make a set that's three pieces, but I already have a three jaw puller, so I didn't want the three piece. A weird thing though is the three set of three, three jaw puller is $21. The set of three, two jaw pullers, which is less pieces, is $29. I have no idea why, but it is. So we picked up the set of three, two jaw pullers. And I tried the smaller one first, it didn't work. So I put the medium size one on here. What you can't see from your angle is I had to put some extra pieces behind the jaws. So when the jaws, you know, I can't bend up here, go in and they go out to grab the gear, the hole that it goes through, it allows it to slide around in there. So I put a piece of metal behind it so it can't come out. And I've already started to loosen it just a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and finish taking it off and then see what's behind here. So get it nice and tight. And this is a metric, so it's 15 millimeter. And once you get it cracked loose, then it's coming off pretty easily. And you want to remember when you put this back together to like take a look at the climb, the timing marks. Make sure you put it on the right tooth. But we're going to take this motor completely apart completely rebuild it so the, uh, one of the nuts full, fell off the back of the gear puller so I had to go to put that on in a minute but we're going to take this whole thing apart completely rebuild it there we go and then I'll probably get a metal version of this gear they make some in aluminum they probably make it in steel um, the fiber ones seem to work. I mean, it's been in there for 60 years, but I'm not really a big fan of the metal or the fiber ones. So I'm going to get a metal one. Okay. There we go. Rock it off nice and easy. Okay. So compressed fiber, you can see on the uh, edges of the teeth. On the uh, back there a little bit, it's easier to see. So 
on the outer side here, you had a little bit more flange to grab onto. On the inner side, there's you're right up against the boss. There's really nothing there to grab. So we were putting teeth to go to the outside, but as you can see, because it is softer, it started to kind of taper a little bit. It looks like there's a spacer stuck to it, so I'm going to have to take that spacer off and put it in my bin of stuff. So, if we take these two bolts out right here, right here and here, then we should be able to pull the camshaft assembly out. It's got a spacer in here that you need to make sure you keep in the right spot. And then, these four pieces here, I think, help hold the front plate on. I'm not... I'm sure I'm going to have to dig into that a little bit more. Um, in a minute, I'm going to try to do another video on taking the exhaust valves out. They gave us some trouble the other day where they're not compressing enough to let the keepers come out. I hopefully can get a camera angle to show you that. So I'm going to close this video out now that we've got the cam gear off. Sorry, Rich, you weren't here to do that, but uh, there's plenty more work to be done. So I will talk to you guys later.